So Gloofy sent me out their 20 watt enclosed laser engraver and cutter. And I wanna go over some of the features of this laser and things that I like, and maybe some things that uh, didn't come so easy to me. So my first impressions are that there's very little assembly required. And for me, that's always a positive because even though I like to build things, I absolutely hate assembling things. So you'll see here, all the contents are inside the enclosure and it's very straightforward on how to put it together. I might not have even looked at the instructions, but that's also something that's pretty typical for me. Safety is always of the highest priority. And with this fully enclosed design, it has a powerful 5,000 RPM turbo fan and a HEPA filter smoke purifier system, which removes smoke and dust efficiently. So not only does that help protect your lungs, but it also reduces the hassle of maintenance. And after safety, another important thing is maintaining your machine and keeping it running as smoothly as possible for as long as possible. So this machine comes with an intelligent air assist, which automatically provides up to 30 liters a minute of airflow. This helps prevent the yellowing on the engraver surface and extends the lifespan of the lens. And so now since we've talked about safety and maintenance on the machine, now we're gonna talk about the speed and precision. So first up, this machine is two times faster at cutting than its predecessor, cutting and graving up to 400 millimeters per second. It also features an incredibly small spot size of 0.06 by 0.04 millimeters with movement precision of 0.01 millimeters. This means you can achieve the ultimate finesse in detail which is perfect for intricate designs and detailed woodworking projects. So now to start making some actual cuts with the laser, it connects via USB-C and I'm using Lightburn, but it also does support laser gribble or laser GRBL, however you say that. I'm not familiar with that program. I also am not super familiar with Lightburn, so this was one of the learning curves for me was figuring out the speed and the laser power at which to make my cuts. So I wanted to get a video or a shot of the laser actually engraving. So when I went to open the enclosure, the laser stopped and I realized that that is another safety feature of this laser is it will not burn while the enclosure is open. So here you'll see the very first burn that I made. This is on MDF and obviously had no problem cutting through that, but I was still learning and figuring out the power and speed at which to make my burns. Then I did move the laser a little bit closer to the garage so that I could run that hose outward and get no smoke in the garage, which was great. Now you can see here, I've done some more testing and cut on some hemlock, which is a softer wood. Got my laser power and speed dialed in, and that is a very clean cut I got there. Very satisfied with that. So now that I've cut on MDF and Hemlock, which are both softer materials, I want to switch to something harder now. So I have a piece of oak that I'm going to run, and this is the exact size of the cutting bed itself. So I really wanna push the laser and see how well it does and how long it's gonna take cutting something at full size. And this one I'm gonna cut at 5,000 millimeters a minute with 20% power. And I don't know if this is a laser issue or a software issue. I would assume it's probably a software issue and also me not being familiar, but the laser kept disconnecting. So I'd have to like reconnect it and re-add it to Lightburn. Again, I don't know if that's an operator error or an error on the software or the laser itself, but that happened to me quite a few times. So this burn took me probably about an hour and a half to two hours. Burned really well on oak. I really like how it came out. And I think the power and speed was perfect for this. Probably could have cut it a little deeper if I wanted to or did another pass, but I honestly think that it turned out great. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and choosing to check out this video. I know I am a novice in the world of lasers, but overall, I would have to say the laser is great quality. The ease of assembly was a 10 out of 10 for me because I absolutely hate assembling things. The hardest thing for me was just getting used to the software, but overall the laser worked great. The only issues that I had was the connectivity. And again, I don't know if that was the software, operator error, something that I was doing, but 
Overall, if you are looking to introduce a laser into your shop, I think that this is a great option to consider. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you on the next video.